So a new indie game has recently just came out called A Drop of Color. A single player RPG puzzle game where you play as a character known as Lumen and have to solve crazy puzzles to get you and your friend known as Dud back home after getting trapped in what seems to be another world inside an unusual artifact. The game is available for $2 on itch.io, and there are plans for it to come to Steam eventually. I was given a copy to review it. After playing for an hour, it's a very fun experience. It reminds me a lot of Undertale and Portal combined as one game where it has the mechanics and graphics similar to Undertale, while being inspired by the puzzle system from Portal to use it for getting the specific colors in the right areas. There are rooms where you need to splash yourself with the right colors such as blue or yellow and match up with the same colored shapes to get closer to the gate where you progress to the next level. There are also checkpoints where you can save your progress in the game which is extremely helpful. The dialogue is also unexpected and delivers some well-written humor. It brings some good character development for the friendship between Lumen and his friend Dud, but I won't spoil what happens and let you play it for yourself. But wait! There's more! If you go through the left door in the museum before getting trapped in the other world, there is an arcade where you get sucked in. It turns out to be a game inside of a game where now it's a retro shooter. You play as this heroic character fighting snakes and bats, and there's a plot twist that happens as you continue to play it which makes the experience even more insane. Another thing I have to praise is the music made by Robert Webb. It really brings an aura of mystery, wonder, and peacefulness. It reduces some stress when solving the puzzles. Sound effects fit very well, and there's nothing that feels unusual or out of place like a dead meme or a chicken screaming for air when you go through a door. Trust me, you do not want a chicken to sound like it's screaming for air when you're going through a door. For the controls, this was done on a PC. Since the graphics are pixel art and not something from a giant AAA game, it won't be demanding on your PC at all when it comes to running the game. A mouse isn't used at all and the controls to move around are used through a keyboard with standard arrow keys or the shift key when it comes to running. It also does allow you to connect an Xbox or PlayStation controller if you prefer those inputs. For criticism, I do have to say there were a couple of bugs I noticed as I continued to play later on, like how when I jumped onto a pit, Lumen was just stuck there for minutes, and another bug where I shot down a snake and still died somehow. Not sure if that was just me rushing into it or if it was an actual glitch. However, the bugs are being fixed, so there is improvement going on with new patches. Overall, the story is very good and the gameplay is excellent for what it's meant to accomplish. If you enjoy games where you solve puzzles or have RPG elements, then this indie title might satisfy what you're looking for. Anyway, this has been Riley Murph. Thank you for watching, and I will see you around.